Yeah, that's a losing battle. Um, all right, so we'll box these up. Let's we'll hold this one so you guys can do what you want with Wonderful. an unopened box. Yep. And we're going to do what we'll call a box break for this. Um, there's one item in here. This is Star Wars Archive Signature Series. I worked on this product myself for like a year and a half. Um, we sourced cards from across the saga, so going back to 77, uh, finding cards that were from the original movie runs. Um, on the Blue Star Field, we got the Empire Strikes Back cards, the Return of the Jedi cards, Star Wars cards from the 90s, all the way up to recent stuff, including Rogue One and even some Last Jedi. So this was really comprehensive from across the saga. And then we captured those cards, foil stamped them with the archive signature stamp, and then sent them out to the talent to sign. And it is a big autograph signer list. It's well over 100 people um, because we had to go very broad. Um, a lot of these background characters who are in for a bit, there's like 20 of their cards that we were able to source for 40 years of content, um, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, so there's one card in here, and it comes in an awesome um, slab case. Let's see if I can rip this. How did you open this before? Because I didn't bring my slicer. <laughs> I'm going to use my key. Well, and you can see my keychain then. Because oh, right. it is um, a little mini TARDIS. Oh, oh, oh well, we'll still show you the TARDIS. I've done a few <laughs> boxes is, of this TARDIS. is not licensed. But super <laughs> cool. TARDIS doesn't have to be licensed. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. The TARDIS does not have to be licensed. So, um, this set includes a lot of different signers from across the saga, um, including everyone you'll see on the box here, like Daisy Ridley. That's Garrick Hagen, um, Hayden Christensen, lots of different people. And we pulled someone, oh, from Last Ooh, Jedi, I was just saying. Um, this actually is, Kier this is Kieran Shaw. He plays Neepers in The Last Jedi, which is on, um, in the whole uh, casino chase situation with John Boyega and Kelly Marie Tran. Uh, he has signed as several different characters for us in the past, but this is his first Neepers card, yeah. um, which is very exciting. And yeah, Kieran's one of those creature actors that pops up in a variety of the films. I believe he's in Solo as well, um, I think as Karge. I'm losing this. Uh, we'll fix that in post if I'm wrong. <laughs> but uh, the cool thing about the creature shop is they get to play all these different characters and come back movie after movie, and we get to use them in different ways. Yeah. So Brian Herring is in a variety of our, our sets. Um, in fact, Artie Shaw is also in um, numerous ones. We were talking about details yeah, yeah. earlier. Yeah. Um, Mike Quinn, Tim Rose, some of those OGs are back. Um, it's it's a very cool uh, group of people, and yeah. they're 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 awesome to work with. So yeah, there is uh, Neepers. Um, here in Sean, you can see the numbering on here. There's 85 of this card. So that's all. That's all we got of Neepers. So as you can see, some of them are pretty low numbered. Um, some even are number to 10, number to 20, based on what we could source. And you can clearly see the archive stamp right there. So this is really a once in a lifetime product. People have asked they liked it so much. If it's going to come back, I don't think it's feasible based on sourcing cards again. So this might be your one shot at archives. So um, do you go out and buy like cards and stuff from we, dealers and? We had quite the sourcing campaign. Um, we used an outside consultant to help us get cards, really? um, buying on eBay, buying from dealers, going into personal collections, um, so ripping that's not packs. Too hot, that's quite a recent card. This was recent, so that's one of like our ripped packs in office. So there yeah. was a point in my office where we were just stacked with boxes of unopened that we could get and rip, 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 yeah. organize, organize, organize. And as you can imagine, certain actors and characters have different people associated. Yep. So, like, are we going to use the voice or the puppeteer? Yep. And I actually had a lot of Job of the Hut. I was like, oh, we can split it in half. Toby gets some, Dave Barkley gets other. Yep. Oh, yep. Dave Barkley can also sign his Yoda. Grab every Empire Strikes Back Yoda card we can get our hands on. Throw it in the Dave Barkley stack. Yep. So we were creating these stacks based on who could sign with also backups in place. So yeah. for some reason, someone wasn't available. Um, like, we actually split BB-8 into Brian Herring pile and Dave Chapman pile, yeah. so that was cool. Um, Jimmy V can do the new R2-D2, um, so we were pulling those. Jonas and Peter Mayhew split the Chewbacca stuff from Force Awakens. Yeah. Peter got the old stuff. Um, you know, it was it was really fun, but at the same time, it went on and on. Oh, yeah. If you were, you'll see my office the in a bit. Of, it, yeah. The Excel file is mind-boggling, and uh, the, the actual unpacking was insane. Yeah. Um, and it took up my whole office, basically. Um, but thank you for all the help from the outside consultants who sourced those cards. And for everyone who loved the product, we would love to do it again. I don't really know if it's possible, um, but we do have other new exciting stuff coming. Is there anything you can talk about? There, there are a few. There are a few things we can share. So next up is Galaxy. That's the next release coming for top Star Wars trading cards. You've probably seen the solicitation already. 50 new pieces of artwork um, from the top's artists, and I think 50 archive pieces from the Lucas Archives. Interesting inserts, 
you're guaranteed um, an autograph in every box yeah. um, and some sketch cards. There's an interesting new signer that we have not announced yet, and I'm waiting on permission, but you when would really enjoy to. him, um, and as soon as we get it, we'll send it to you. But okay. there's a... There's somebody a, who's never signed before, then? Someone who's never signed for us before and doesn't do the conventions, and it would be a really unexpected one. So when it comes out, we'll let you guys know, but there will be an add-in autograph for um, Galaxy that's going to kind of blow your mind, um, which I can't wait for. Um, and then just in general, the artwork is super cool. It's a lot of uh, collages and interesting interpretations of the characters, mostly photo real, um, all within canon. Uh, so there isn't new scenes being created, but uh, very cool artwork from some awesome artists. Yeah. Yeah. And then coming down the line, we've got Finest, which is our Chrome product. You might have seen some yeah. of those cards yeah. um, at New York Comic Con. Those look really good. Yeah. Um, I love the Chrome. And we've got a bunch of on-card signers, and then we've got some sticker signers. Um, it's a pretty comprehensive list of autograph signers for that set, which I'm excited about. Stellar Signatures is our big release of the year. That's the, the A-Level Daddy, $6,500 uh, wholesale cost, so $10,000 SRP. Uh, um, you know, just a Christmas <laughs> gift. Yeah. Um, but you'll get 35, I believe it's 35 of your top Star Wars signers guaranteed in the box with different parallels to chase. Some hard signed dual autographs that'll be variable by box. Yeah, yeah. You might have seen the Daisy Adam combo. Yep. Um, at the booth, there was also, I believe it was Jeremy and John. Was it Jeremy and John or Jeremy and Dickie? I can't remember now. I don't know which. Um, they, we've got a bunch of different tools yeah. to chase. And then they just announced some autograph relic cards. Um, and the relics are the source material fabric swatches. So what we are using for costumes. Cool. Yeah. The faux costume pieces, not faux, but like the the pieces of the yeah. pieces that are used in the production of the costume, yeah. not screen worn. So when you cut out yeah. a bit of material, you take the bits off the edges. Yes. And, yeah. We get material from Lucasfilm that are used yeah. in the production of the costume, but don't make yeah. it into the final costume and don't get worn on screen. That's what we're permitted to use by Lucasfilm. So they want to keep all yeah. the costumes now to display at the touring art closes. Exactly. Like that, which is fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So there, those things have to go into museums. We're not allowed to destroy set pieces, tables, doors. Um, or pieces of costume. Yeah. 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 yeah, right, exactly. So, so those, that's what's coming. And then we just announced um, Black and White, Empire Strikes Back. Awesome. Which, that so, solicitation just went out, which we're very excited about. Yeah. Much cheaper just to get Black Ink than if you... <laughs> <laughs> you would think so, yeah. Um, Probably there, not nowadays, is it? There won't be printing plates for that one, I'll tell you that. Um, there'll, be, yeah. there'll be one of one metal parallels that we'll throw in, but you won't get printing plates. All different colours, yeah. yeah. That's the one... Plenty of orange. Good few blue. Yep. There, I didn't realize how rare they are as well. The, the uh, orange, the greens, and the purples are quite scarce as well. Yeah, those are also. There's only numbered. 199 of those in the world, and 99 of those. Yep. And of course, we've got the gold ten. The gold, the, yeah. The that's big cool. guy. No chrome cards or four electric cards in this set. No, nothing. We usually keep our chrome separate. Chrome is pretty expensive and different. Yeah. Uh, foil will throw in sometimes. Kids seem to like foil a lot. Yeah, so, it's shiny. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, you, always, you, always, you always used to throw foils into Galaxy as you were like six cards. Oh, we do, nine have, we do have a foil. Stuff. So the foil puzzle is back. It's in there. Oh, so brilliant. You will find, if you, are, if you haven't seen the solicitation of Galaxy, the foil puzzle is in there, Excellent. along with a couple of other original artwork inserts beyond just the base nice, set. Nice, yeah. Um, and then I think we put in the Rebels Wanted posters yeah. um, as a chase as well as the journey of Ahsoka. Yeah. So that artwork set that Dave Filoni had done for us for the Car Trader app are now coming to printed cards awesome. um, in Galaxy, because that's some of the best original art. And yeah, yeah. did everyone notice that he had made that with the wolf frame a nice. year before we saw it in A World Between Worlds? I was dying, because I saw it, and I was like, why does it look so familiar? And I was like, the Ahsoka cards yeah. that were in the Car Trader app a year before that episode aired. So he was playing us <laughs> I got all <laughs> yeah. That was... New York last year was that the celebration with those the, in the app? Yeah, that I believe it was a year and a half ago. It was probably celebration. celebration. Yeah. seventeen. Yeah, I kept swinging by the booth day going, "Come on, I'll yep. get them." Wonderful. And once we've got you here, we might as well ask about authentics. Yes. Is there anything? Because that's my baby now. Of course yes. it is. Yeah. Is there anything you can tell us about authentics? There's a lot of fun stuff. So you can find all of top Star Wars trading cards in your local hobby hobby store or comic book shop, or direct on tops.com. If you're overseas, like you guys are in the UK, so we are overseas, foreigners, yeah. overseas not meaning meaning non-US, um, non-United States, we have Tops Direct. So a lot of those collections are up there now. You can find Star Wars archive signatures, Galactic Files, Masterwork is on there, Galaxy and Gal Galaxy and Finest will be coming a little bit later this year. And if you're looking for Star Wars Authentics autographs and official photos, you can find it at StarWarsAuthentics.com. And you can save 10% with code SWA Solo.